Hey guys, today we're going to mix some black and white film chemicals. So what we have here is EcoPro black and white film developer and EcoPro neutral fixer. Both of these are fairly environmentally friendly, about as non-toxic as you can get with film chemicals. This is just a mixing guide, so it's going to be fairly straightforward. But here's what you'll need. You'll need the chemicals themselves, so your fixer and your developer, three gallons of distilled water, two one gallon jugs with screwable lids. So I use these tea bottles. They're off-brand Arizona tea. You can use Arizona tea if you prefer. You'll also need two one liter bottles with screw lids as well. We're mixing five liters and a gallon is only about four liters so we need something to hold that extra liter. Get two of these, one for your developer, one for your fixer. We'll also need a bucket for mixing things. This one can hold up to three gallons. You can find them at like Dollar General or whatever. And you need a spoon for mixing. We'll also need two funnels, one for your developer, one for your fixer, and a pair of gloves just to keep chemicals off your hands. So after you have all these things, you should be ready to mix some black and white film chemicals. So first things first, make sure you empty out all your tea bottles and sparkling water bottles. Give everything you'll be using a rinse. So your bucket, your mixing spoon, your funnels. Get your bucket and pour one gallon of distilled water into your bucket. Inside of your EcoPro bag, there should be two bags for developer A and developer B, as well as some instructions you can follow if you're nervous. Now pour in your developer part A. Mix it well. It has to be completely dissolved before you pour in part B. Now pour in developer part B. Add distilled water to make it five liters. Mix it well. You want it to be a homogeneous mixture before you split it up into bottles. Now use a funnel to pour the developer into the tea bottle. Fill it up to as close to the top as you're comfortable with. After the tea bottle's filled, use the funnel to pour the rest of your developer into the extra liter bottle that you have. If you have any leftover after this, feel free to save it, use it, or pour it down the drain. Finally, make sure you label your bottles. You do not want to mix up your developer and your fixer. Now rinse off everything really well. You don't want any contamination. So if you're a fixer, you'll be mixing one part fixer to four parts water. That means one liter of fixer and four liters of water. So pour four liters of distilled water into the bucket. That'll be a whole gallon with a little bit of extra. Ideally, your bucket has liter markings so that you can be pretty exact with this. Now pour one liter of the fixer concentrate into the bucket. You want your mixture to be at the five liter mark. Make sure you mix it well. Again, you want it to be a homogeneous mixture before you're splitting it up. Now use your second funnel to pour your mixed fixer into the second tea bottle. Pour the rest of your fixer into the one liter bottle. If you have any extra after that, again, feel free to save it, use it, or pour it down the drain. Make sure you label your fixer bottles. You definitely don't want to put fixer in before developer. Finally, make sure you give everything a good clean. Now that your black and white film chemicals are mixed and ready to use. It's the same idea with generally any black and white film developer and fixer. You just might have different measurements here and there, different dilution rates. So just make sure if you're using something else, keep an eye on specifics like that. So these are my old chemicals. We have my developer and my fixer. If you watched my last video, then you'll know that I recommended squeezing as much air as possible out of your bottles for your color chemicals. What I found interesting is that I mixed this developer back in January of this year, so that's about eight months, and I have left all of this air in the top of the bottle. My developer is still working fine. I can't necessarily promise you the same results, but know that I have irresponsibly left oxygen in the top of my bottle and have perfectly working chemicals. This is different than color chemicals in that it's usually used one shot, so you use your developer and then you pour it down the drain, instead of with color chemicals, returning it to the same bottle. I use the developer diluted one to one, so that means instead of just pouring developer straight into the tank, I use half water and half developer. It extends the developing time, but also saves on developer. So if you can fit four rolls of 35 millimeter film in one liter of developer, and there's five liters that you're making right now. That means you can develop 20 rolls with one of these bags of developer. 
but since I use it one to one, I can get up to 40 rolls, which is an insane value proposition. I think this bag costed me like 10 or $11. Your fixer should be able to fix at least as many rolls as your developer can. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. This is a test for something coming up soon. Hopefully you'll see soon enough. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.